Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. My name is Mindy Banks, I'm the Flip Flop Chef, and today I wanna to talk to you about organizing your kitchen. I've had so many requests from my customers to look inside of my cabinets and my drawers, and so I wanted to share that with you today. So I'm gonna take you on a tour of my kitchen, let's go. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna give you a tour of my kitchen, and I've got my cabinet drawers open, so I do love that I have all these really, really deep drawers in my kitchen. So we'll just start at the top and go down to the bottom. Um, I have, this top drawer, I've just organized my cutting boards, cutting mats, and of course, my some of my deluxe air fryer and microwave grip stuff. Um, one thing that I really recommend, if you can get them, you can probably get them at the container store or on Amazon. Pampered Chef actually used to sell these, and so this is, this is actually from Pampered Chef, but these are dividers. They're drawer dividers. Um, in these deep drawers, I have them stacked too high. Let's see if you can see. So if you see, I've got two of them. And it looks like I have mine upside down, but it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but I have two of those um, stacked on top of each other for the deep drawer. And it gives me the ability to sort of sort things into three sections. So I use those in a lot of my cabinets. And in the bottom drawer, I've got just some things that I don't use as often, but they're still easily accessible. And then I've got more of these dividers in this drawer. And I just kind of sort things based on their purpose. And so you can just kind of take a little glance in there and then I'll show you the bottom. I have some of my cookware, some of my stoneware down there. And then I've got hot pads, trivets, my honer here and I keep all of that um, close to the stove and the oven. And then I have another drawer. This is just Ziploc bags and Twixit clips, nothing special there. And then I've got um, a container. So another thing that I really recommend is that you get these cool containers. This is from Ikea and I love them. I use them in my pantry, I use them in my cabinets. I use them all over my house. So highly recommend those. You can order them online and most, uh, most of them will be able to be delivered. And then I just keep some of my um, silicone lids right here, my tortilla warmer. These are things that I don't use every single day. And so I have those in the bottom drawer. All right, next up, I have another drawer underneath my um, stove here. And I have some of my um, pizza stones as well as some of my lids. And then if we go up here to my, I can't go up too high. It's, um, <laughs> this is another cabinet. And then these are things that I don't use every single day, but I keep them um, nice and organized. I have some pot racks. Hopefully you guys can see I'm using little, um, the little metal dividers that you can get at like Home Goods and Marshalls. And then my baking pans on the top shelf, because I don't use those on a regular basis, but I do like having them easily accessible. So let's keep moving on. All right, I'm gonna show you some more of my drawers. So these are the deep drawers that I have here. Um, <clears throat> the top one is just mostly my silverware drawer, but I have some other little containers in here just to kind of help sort and organize. So nothing super special here. And then here is where I keep all my leak proof and all my glass containers. Usually this drawer is a lot more full, but I have um, a lot of food in the fridge right now and some in the freezer. So I use these dividers again, but it gives me a place to kind of sort out the lids from the bowl. Whoops, gotta close that cabinet so I can close the door. And then in this one, I just have like my micro cookers, some of the other things that I don't use on a regular basis, but that I want to be um, close at hand. All right, coming over here, this cabinet's not super exciting, but um, I have some stoneware on the top, my pizza peel, and then down here, I've got some stoneware up on its side, a big stock pot in the back, and of course my Flex Plus, um, here and I'll put that cooking guide up right so it just looks a little bit better <laughs> and then my rapid prep mandolin so some of my other cabinets let's keep going all right showing you some cabinets these are above my countertops so these are higher up not drawers um, below the counters um, so I do use our old style tool turnabout to store um, products in the cabinets I feel like it takes up um, so much less space when I use them this way and I don't like to have them on my countertops so if you've never thought about it, you can actually raise your shelves higher to accommodate the tool turnabouts. And then I just have some things um, on the shelves, things that I don't use on a regular basis, I keep up higher. And bowls and measuring cups, measuring, measuring containers, got all kinds of good stuff in here. 
All right, wrapping up here. So this is my spice cabinet. I actually have two, so I'll show you both of these. Um, but I have the new Pampered Chef Spice Organizer in here. And so this is where I've kind of put all of my non-Pampered Chef seasonings. It's just an easy way for me to kind of sort out um, between the two. And then I have some of my enrichables, some other storage stuff that are just things that I don't use on a regular basis. Here's another trick. You can hang things on the inside of your cabinet. Um, so this is just a little uh, trivet that I use for some of my larger pans. And I just have a little command hook, nothing super special. And um, it just doesn't take up any space. And then again, using a couple of retired Pampered Chef products. Um, this is one of our spice turnabouts. And so I have that. Use these little containers to kind of sort um, bottles and things like that that you can just easily kind of take out and bring to the counter. And more seasonings. And on the top shelf, I have extra stuff like I have my stockpile of Pampered Chef cinnamon. Another uh, spice turnabout there too. All right. Can't wait to hear what you guys think. All right, you guys, a couple more cabinets here. So this is actually in my laundry room. Last year for my birthday, I asked my dad and my husband to get me some cabinets and hang them in here so that I had kind of had an extension of the pantry. And so in this cabinet on both of these two bottom shelves, I have um, like adjustable spice um, or adjustable pantry organizers. They're not necessarily for spices. They're actually a little bit wider so that you can fit cans on them. Um, and so I use those just to kind of help give me some little extended space for the pantry. And then in this one, same thing, just extended space. So I keep some of my quick cooker accessories here and um, some of my stoneware and cast iron and extra Ziploc bags and all the candy that I don't want the kids to eat. <laughs> so just some extra space. Let me go, let me know what you guys think.